games, what, did, what kind of went wrong today or why was he struggling after the weekend? You know, I, I think sometimes when you're thrown in there, maybe you're not as, um, I don't want to say nervous, because he's not the nervous type, but maybe the enormity of it is, is not as impactful. You know, he, he seemed okay during the week and at the beginning of the game, but just uh, there are times it's 17 year old freshman looks like a 17 year old freshman. So he's a competitive guy and he competed, but um, it was a challenge. And a lot of the challenge was because they're, they got some pretty good dudes over there. Archie? Go ahead. All things considered, how do you feel like Matt Moore handled himself against the guard there like that? I think for a guy that hadn't played quarterback since five years ago in high school and and uh, been taking snaps for a week or a week and a half, uh, really. Uh, he did all right. I mean, he's obviously everything's kind of new, new to him uh, with that. But, you know, he, you know, we had the one, had a couple turnovers and the one at the end there that there was an exchange problem. But, you know, he's a competitive guy too. And, you know, I don't know what our quarterback situation is going forward, but we got two, at least two weeks now to figure something out. Rich, what do you say to the fans right? What do you say to the fans right now who are upset kind of about the program, where where it's at right now? Where we're at? Yeah. What do you say to the fans who are maybe upset about it? Yeah. Other I don't control. I can't control other people's opinions. You know, other people's opinions are other people's opinions, and they're they're entitled to it, allowed to it. You know, we're two and five, and we've had some adversity, but we're two and five. You know, I think a lot of the problems we can, uh, I know we can fix in the next year or two in recruiting, and some of them we'll try to fix in the short term. But, hey, what do you want me to say? I, I, that's why I asked the question. I was wondering that's what it. What do you want me to say? Whatever you felt like saying. I just said okay. people's opinions are people's opinions. Right. And uh, I love our fans. we got great fans, and uh, they've been very supportive. Uh, since I've been here, I think they've been very supportive of all U of A athletics. So. I appreciate that. If they're not happy with uh, not winning, hey, nobody over here is either. Coach, given the success you've had over your, your career, uh, do you change the way you coach with a team like this more to like a rebuilding phase versus a trying to? You know? Not really. I think that part of what you're looking for when you're going through a rough patch is what the players are looking for is consistency in how you approach. You know, is it anything doing any, you know, it's like someone asked a question during the week about injuries, are you doing any training methods? It was the same as it was two years ago when we got on a nice run, but everybody stayed healthy and we played better. You know, we're going through a little rough patch right now, but nobody's gonna give up or you know, quit trying. And, you know, all of, we didn't all of a sudden just forget how we're approaching things. I think the player's attitude has been really good. Now we'll, we'll tighten the screws a little bit, yeah, just to make sure everybody's all in. You know, there's sometimes there's a tendency to, I've never done it, but there's a tendency for people to loosen things up because you want you don't want the players to be upset. You know, we don't roll that way. We we try to be pretty consistent in in our approach all the time, and uh, I think our players will see that. Uh, what happened on the fourth down play down at the goal line? Was that just a well? Oh yeah, yeah. Which, on the goal line, yeah, I would have. I should have called a better play, and uh, on the fourth and one, you're talking about, mm -hmm. yeah, I should have called a better play. And, I don't, I don't know how, what front or exactly what front or how we blocked it until I watched the film, but you know, there would have been an easier touchdown if we called a different play. Rich, what, you, what was Khalil saying? He, he was seeing on those interceptions. Did he say what he thought he saw there? Uh, there was, I mean, he was, uh, a lot of times he was saying, they were seeing the right things as far as uh, at least what they were playing us, but. Again, everything happens faster when you're young like that. And it's a, it's a learning experience. You'll grow from You got down on your knee late in the game. Was, was the heat affecting you at all? No. I'm in pretty good shape. It was a frustration knee. <laughs> Any more questions for Coach? What gives you short-term optimism? Uh, well, uh, it's a good question. One, the attitude of the team, and particularly the seniors. You know, the, I have a small senior class, but they've been really good leadership. I'm talking about really good. And then certainly the, the, the young talent we have, 
and the way they're working. And then I guess the third thing is recruiting. You know, you're gonna hold on to, I'm not a, I'm not, I guess I don't round to the pessimist, optimist. I'm more of a realist, this is what it is. And some of the problems we have won't get, what didn't occur overnight, won't get fixed overnight, but they're still on my watch. I've been here four years, or four and a half. But we're fixing some of them, promise you on that. So we'll get it right. You know, we've taken a few lumps early in the first half of the season, but uh, I, I feel pretty confident that you know, our time will be there where we want to be. Does the buy come at a good time? Is it a good yeah, time? Yeah, I would like to have two weeks ago. But now better than ever. Anything else for Coach? Great, thank you.